How did we all get here? With the towers, your friend with the really big wolf, and our Valkyrie gift for transporting the worthy, we were able to bring the survivors here to hold Mimi's Holt. Are there many survivors? More than we could have hoped for. We're tending the wounded here, but others have begun to set up camp further in the Holt. Is there any chance Freyr... I'm afraid he was lost, Atreus. Right. Um... Thanks for patching me up. Take it easy, you took quite a beating. She's still out there, you know. Not for long. Freya spoke about it earlier. Ganal will meet her end. One way or another. I'd kill to see that fight. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. It's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort and knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim to help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you can get this wood over to Brana's tent... She... Shoulder? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you... Have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bed rolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freyr's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. 
He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya, it was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildesvini. today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <clears throat> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, huh? you already have. Thank you for saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions? I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Mm. Mm. The 
Atreus. I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. I don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust? Who to call friend? Son. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. care of everyone.
did you see in there, brother? see to it together There. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess. Your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos. She hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. Hold a few dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together.
General. Lady Freya. Rhaenyra. My lady. Shield maidens. Blessed Thor, have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories and ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mamir. I appreciate your kind words. to first we can take care of any lingering business in the realms or investigate those pieces of asgard either way we are with you brother lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get together to honor brock's memory at rab's tavern and svartalfine i'd like to go Thanks for collecting that. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock and Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. You wanna talk for a spell? Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but... It's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you goddess. Uh, about your brother, I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this, you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but ah. Uh, always known that pretty pretty man had greatness in him that he'd do something amazing one day and i'm just you know i'm proud that now the nine realms know it too i i thank you anytime ma'am it's strange there are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. I can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you Never said mind that. that. Time to fight! <laughs> Left side, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Still on pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, if there's more of these Asgard fragments out there, the Einher Yar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Freya, something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freya had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps a serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. <laughs>
Can't they sense Odin is dead? They are soldiers. Ray will always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes, they will continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they won't. Hey, uh, near the little shop I'm running out in the Alpine Desert, there's something y'all are probably gonna want to see. I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Vini went to Helheim. How did he not freeze to death? A perk of the Jofer. The boar shifting warriors of Vanaheim. As wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure. So long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. I wonder how many of these fragments of Asgard there are. The realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Master Kratos, what you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. 
The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Anyhow, was there something else you wished to talk about? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree... It had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Well, I'll leave you to it. I do enough to prepare Atreus. The lad survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But to love. Brother? Angraboda. Does he... Oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to... Woo. To be perfectly honest, brother, I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. <clears throat> I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return. I got more stuff ready to forge. Now, I know it's hard being here without them, but I'm sure old Brock would be glad you're here. And I'm sure Sindri, wherever he is, would appreciate you tidying up after yourself. Now, go ahead. We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not going to be very happy with me. No. Charlie. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you.
I will do my best to earn it. Is someone inside? Yes. Warming up already, isn't it? Birger. Hello. What are you doing here? Keeping warm. Both of us. It is your home, if you wish me to leave. No. It's good that he has someone. Will you stay? There is still much to be done. Then we will wait. And when it is time to rest, I will keep the hearth warm. Thank you, Birger. Goodbye, Charlie. Soon. If I had a stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin is gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no. It's from excitement. Hardly any non-giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. So this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories. And then some. Thank you, Buddha. Kratos, Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus's heart. I'm here. Oh, like you weren't thinking it, brother. Ahem. You're a cherished ally, Ingraboda. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. Kratos, the last time you were here was because of Fay, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. Angaboda, you are the last giant left in your name. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um, not really one for visitors, but she's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... She might be. Someday. I don't know quite yet, 
but I think it's a start. You painted these shrines. Some of them. Some I finished for my mother. Your work is beautiful. Your skill with a brush is unmatched, Angerboda. My son. He draws. He told me. Although he'd do well to learn from your use of color. We come from a long line of artisans, so he has it in him. He just needs some discipline to bring it out. <laughs> I like you. Freya, a flower. The flower. Incredible. To Vanaheim, then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. Anytime. Were you serious before, Mimir? Grasfelger truly wishes to retire? Can she even do that? Not be held? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become hell, as it were. Old. We will finish later. Yeah! <laughs> 
Where will the Einar Yar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? Aye. Suppose they'll have to find rest somewhere. Kratos, and Freya, welcome back. Come here. Lady Seth, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenor Yar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Back to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? We don't do that kind of thing here. This realm provides us what we need. <laughs> <That is harsh. laughs> 